an old dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. Looks like an empty chest. I'll take some. There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. this stuff when I was a kid. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. Great! A toy prize inside! This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it.
Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick, four leaves of mint, one human skull, pressed, one squirt squid ink, two pints monkey blood, mm, one live chicken, three ounces brimstone, one or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow eight, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. Love cinnamon. Mm, this is going to be good. That should be enough. to drop. About time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Good thing I've got a million of these. Yikes! Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass. Bladders. It's Monkey Island. Hey, look. We've made it to Monkey Island. Let us know when you found the governor. We've got an extra chair she can use. Take some more.
Hi, I'm Herman Toothrot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. It's hot here. Well, I'll check out this note while I'm at it. It's printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. Like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. Look at the odds against that are incredible. Ah, I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. Um, I'm afraid I must be going now. Pressing business, you know. <laughs> I'll just put it here. Mr. Toothrot, please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly sank a passing ship. The Cannibals.
Whoops. Boy, it sure is hot here. here. Hey, nice spyglass. Looks just like, say, where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. Um, sorry. Well, that's okay. Next time, be more careful. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? A caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> Who are you? Me? My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh <laughs> boy! Sure is hot here. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred Monkey Island, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the Monkey Head. G.P. LeChuck. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hope to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. 
And I couldn't sail the ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back too, but I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. You say you got a key from the locals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the monkey head, see? Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> it seems to be a jump rope. I can paddle it with these oars. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Did you come in the ship I saw out there? You're braver than you look. Actually, 
It looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships on <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> So you're not the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? What happened to your pants? What pants? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs>